Welcome to Camrose County, Alberta. This is wheat and barley country. If you like bread or beer or both, and who doesn't, thank a farmer. And today, I do just that. It is harvest time, and I join the Bannock family farm to help them separate the wheat from the chaff. I'm in charge of chaff. And I'm in a wheat field with Humphrey Bannock at Bannock's Homestead. Hello, Humphrey, how are you? Morning, Rick. Thank you for having me, sir. In my entire life, I have never stood in a wheat field. This yeah. is it. This is it. Uh, it's a ripe wheat field. Um, it's ready to harvest. Um, and it's nice and dry, and this is what nice you want, right? Yep. What we're going to do today is, is, is cut the wheat, something okay. like that, cut it off. Yeah. The harvesters are going to thrash it, much like this, and it's just going to mash it. Then it takes the straw and it throws it out the back. Then it takes and it's going to take some wind, and some shaking, and we have wheat. It's a big field, uh, it's about 150 acres here. Uh, we're hoping to be done here in about five hours. You're gonna work with my son Nick today in uh, this first 8120 case combine. That's it back there. Yes. Nick, is it? Absolutely. How are you, Nick? Good Not too bad. Nick. Now, am I gonna be able to drive this thing? Yep. Yeah, we can absolutely get you driving. Yes. Okay, let's do it. Oh, that's deadly, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Literally deadly. So they just cut the wheat? Yeah, it cuts it down to the height. And, and then it gets down. all brought into here? Yeah, it goes right into the feeder hose. And right in the very back, will it just be that very fine wheat, just the seeds? Yeah, in this right in behind us through the window. Okay. Yeah. This is it, we're harvesting wheat. Harvesting wheat. And you're not, you don't have your, your hands on the wheel? No, it's like this. Read a book. It's like you're flying a plane, that's what pilots do. Yeah. Are you attached to like a GPS? Uh, yeah. Chris Hatfield couldn't fly this thing. How fast are we moving? Uh, right now, 1.7 miles an hour. Okay, I'm used to that because I drive on the Don Valley Parkway. It's wrong. Mm -hmm. Now the auto steer is gone. Yeah. Now I'm in control. Yeah. Before it was like Herbie the Love Combine. It was just driving itself. But yeah. now, oh, I wasn't paying attention to the road there. It's a good thing there's no traffic. Yeah, straighten it back out. Okay. So I go back, double click, and then the computer will fix me. There you go. Ah, uh, uh, the computer is our friend. When your father sees the track I've made, will he be able to tell where I was driving? Ah, uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Well, maybe your father won't inspect our work. Any chance of that? Uh, he's got an eagle eye on that. He actually has like six cents. He'll pick it up from the farmyard. An Great. idiot is driving my combine. <laughs> so when it's full, what happens? Do we return to base and dump it, or? Uh, no, we actually have a tractor that comes and picks it up on the goal out in the field. So it never stops. Do you nope. stop for lunch, or do you eat up here? Uh, no, we usually eat before we get going in the mornings, and Grandma brings supper about 6 o'clock. Grandma brings supper yeah. at 6 o'clock? Yeah, just about every day. Does every farm do that? Uh, you see it a lot. You'll be driving around. You'll see the whole family sitting out in the field, sitting on their chairs. All right, he's coming. It's like an airplane that refuels in midair. Oh, absolutely, yeah. So you're going to want to try and hold just a nice straight line there, even if you miss a little bit. Do I push it yet? Yeah, it should be ready to go. OK. So I just saw another combine in that mirror. Are we in formation? Yeah, absolutely. We're like the snowbirds. Yep. Except the snowbirds fly planes that are 45 years old. How old is this? A few years. Ah. <laughs> that was great, Nick. Thank you so much. Anytime. Now what? I'm going to go back out, and you got to get that wheat to the pile. Wheat to the pile. Absolutely. Okay. Okay, Willie, how much wheat have we delivered here to this pile? 100,000 pounds. In one load? You bet. And what, what are we using to get it off here? We're using the flighted auger. The flighted auger. Also the bird of Alberta. I want that job. Absolutely, have at it, it's all yours. I should do that. Oh, that's weird. Wheat is fun. Woo! 
We're doing Grain Angels. <laughs> grain Sumo. Engage. Engage. And this is Alan Kennedy, the senior member of the Bannock family firm. Hello, Alan, how are you? Pleased to meet you. Thank you for having me here, sir. So it's not just wheat here, you also do the barley? That's right. How much barley? Well, uh, as far as bushels, I don't know, but it would make about 1.5 million bottles of beer. <laughs> Enough for the first three minutes of the Grey Cup. Yeah, right. <laughs> Your family should be on a stamp. 1.5 million bottles of beer. Donna, is this your coleslaw? Yeah. This is awesome. You are very lucky. I am. Thank you for having me. It's, uh, it's always a pleasure. I uh, hope you enjoyed running the harvester today. I did. I took it a little off track, but I think we'll be all right. It'll be all right. 